Greetings and salutations. In this quick video, I want to show you how to properly mix your coolant antifreeze concentrate with water. Now, of course, the only thing you need is your concentrate, your antifreeze concentrate, and preferably distilled water, which they use distilled water for medical equipment because you don't want those uh, you don't want those contaminants in regular tap water to go into your uh, radiator and everything. It can cause damage. Um, it's not horrible, but it's preferable. All right, so the only thing you need, of course, is your, your, your coolant, and then I have a donor container that's empty. You can technically have an empty laundry detergent, uh, empty or some kind of container. But what I want you to do, even before you start this procedure, is go ahead and make a tag. So as you can see here, I have antifreeze danger and you want to tape that on the container that's going to be separate from your mix. All right, same thing with laundry detergent or any food containers and immediately put it up in a high area to where no one can get to it and that they know it's nothing that's edible. And then I have like a picture, a funnel. I'm going to use this funnel for this, which will make it cleaner to switch out. All right, so usually it comes in one gallon, and I'll put in a link in the comment section where you can get this Prestone where you could use pretty much in all vehicles. And what we're gonna do, usually it's a 50-50 mix, so 50, uh, half water and half your concentrate um, antifreeze, but they're getting technical and they're saying you wanna do 55% coolant, 56% coolant and 44% water ratio. I don't think that that's necessary that you have to get it on the dime. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my container, which got full antifreeze in it. Go ahead and open it. You want to have safety gloves on, preferably something that's better than this, not cloth. You want something that's non-porous. Uh, eyewear is a good thing to have because antifreeze is very toxic. It's best to do it in a garage, in a open area. All right. And what we're going to do is we're gonna empty this out, this antifreeze out, to where I'm about 50% antifreeze in my original container. And you could do it, I'm gonna do it visibly by eye by just looking at it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump half this bottle in my donor bottle. All right. And then I'm going to visibly look. You can shine a light. All right. And I've already emptied some of this out. So right now, this container is has the concentrate in it. It's about halfway full. Now I'm going to take my distilled water. Whatever and I'm gonna fill this up with water. And you might wanna periodically check, make sure you're not overfilling it. All right. So that's completely full. And what I want to do is just put on the cap. And I'm going to shake it. All right, and that's my concentrate. Approximately 50% water, 50% of full concentrate antifreeze coolant. And this is where I want to be taking it to my car and filling it up. Of course, you could top off your, your car, you could do a full replacement. And then this antifreeze here, I'm just gonna simply close it up and then put it in storage way high up. Please make sure that you completely put the antifreeze up, clean the area before you go to your car and start working it. I cannot tell you how many stories where people will be mixing it, they'll rush to the car and start working and then their family pet goes and thinks this, this is drinkable. And then you know what happens next. A lot of stories like that. So please make sure you properly secure your antifreeze. And if you do not use all your antifreeze, your mixture of half water 
half antifreeze. Go ahead and create a label while you're doing the danger antifreeze on the other container and put this on the mixed container that says already mixed 50-50. That way, a year from now or whatever, when you haven't used it for a while, you'll be like, Did I, is that mixed or is that fully concentrated? That way it'll let you know, or of course, if a friend or a family member does it on their vehicle, they know so they don't over concentrate it with even more water. Um, and so that's just a smart thing to do. All right, thanks for watching.